All right, very excited for this beer tonight. It's a uh, another Sam Adams seasonal. Now, the last winter seasonal we did from Sam Adams uh, was their, I believe, White Christmas. Awful, one of the worst beers I ever had. Um, hopefully, this beer will redeem my faith in Sam Adams once again, as far as their winter beers go. This is their Merry Maker Gingerbread Stout, uh, and it is very stout. Nine percent alcohol by volume. Uh, it comes in bombers, uh, 1.6 fluid ounce bombers to be exact, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they're usually a little less than the Belgian bombers, 1.9 ounces usually with those, but uh, this is a very hefty beer, 9% ABV. It uh, is categorized as a milk stout slash sweet stout. Uh, it gets an 84 on Beer Advocate, which is good. It gets a really good rating on Ray Beer, 96 as a matter of fact, so looking forward to that as well. Um, dark roasted malts and a touch of wheat, uh, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and ginger. So those are all the uh, ingredients that would be put into a Christmas-style beer. So definitely um, looking for the Christmas cheer here. And there's a blurb in the back I'll read to you. These rich, dark brew entices with the aromas of the holidays, hinting at the merriment and spices within. The flavor of gingerbread comes alive, beginning with the smooth sweetness and heartiness of dark roasted malts and a touch of wheat. But it's the intensity and spices of cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and ginger that add a wicked kick to this jolly, playful brew. Of course, they threw in the little New England wicked right there. The Sam Adams We Love Experimenting this, or at Sam Adams, rather, We Love Experimenting. This series of limited edition brews represents some of our favorite small batch creations. So there you have it. And it's a bunch of gingerbread men sledding, it looks like. I think this used to be called something else, something a little more evil. I totally forget the name of it. I used to see it last year, but... Um, they kind of made it a little nicer uh, this year. So we're going to pour her into this uh, Dunnybrook Stout glass, and we see a very dark pour, the very, very stoutish, um, dark motor oilish kind of uh, pour that you usually see from a Russian Imperial. And as we pour it into this glass, yep, very dark, very uh, brown, uh, very brown, chocolatey looking head. Uh, about a little less than, <laughs> than a finger of head. Um, it's a very dark beer, just extremely dark, just taking up the entire um, color space of this uh, of this pint glass. So let's get the aroma now of Samuel Adams Merry Maker Gingerbread Stout. Oh man, yeah, definitely getting a lot of gingerbread in the uh, aroma here. Great job with the aroma. Wow. Clove, yeah, the clove is right there. Cinnamon, as it's, yeah, the nutmeg. I'm getting it all in there in the aroma. This is a great smelling beer, as exactly as advertised as far as the aroma goes. Wow. Oh, man, this is a good smelling beer. Okay. Let us get the taste now of Sam Adams' Merry Maker Gingerbread Stout. Very good. I'll tell you what, as soon as you start tasting it, the uh, the aroma of the cinnamon really invades. Um, it's very, very uh, kind of all out there. And when it gets to the throat, you get a little bit of a very, very slight toasted note um, of uh, that you're normally used to with stouts, but not quite that bad. It's not a harsh kind of um, stoutish kind of taste like a lot of the chocolate stouts are. It really is well balanced with the cloves and the nutmeg. It's it's really uh, a, it just, it tastes like Christmas. This beer really tastes like Christmas. Yeah, they totally, they totally captured Christmas in this beer. This may be the best Christmas beer I've ever had. Um, and this is the first time I'm ever trying it, as a matter of fact. I'm blown away by this. Uh, it is Christmas in a bottle, basically. It's everything you, you think of. It's it's this it's cinnamony, nutmeggy, you know, the clove, everything, all the ingredients that are in this thing um, is balanced so well with the stout. I was a little bit skeptical on how this would interact with a stout. It, it goes perfectly. I mean, there's no better combination, and, and they've done a really, really good job. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to give Sam Adams Merry Maker Gingerbread Stout a 10 out of 10. Just a beautiful looking beer. Um, a great aroma, just a perfect aroma, and I'll tell you what, this, the, the taste is really out of this world. So, I, I've had the worst Christmas beer I ever had from Sam Adams, which is White Christmas, and the best Christmas beer that I ever had with Sam Adams' 
um, the Merry Maker Gingerbread Stout. So get the Merry Maker, pass on the way Christmas. Thanks.